Oh boy. Here we go. Because yes, after a segment on AEW Dynamite recently, Reddit went nuts. Now I'm gonna say, I quite like Squared Circle when the conversation is flowing and everybody is nicey nice. But then one guy flies in and says something so offensive and that's it, the whole mountain falls down. Although that is just the internet to be honest, so nine times out of 10, it's just the best ignore it and move on. But indeed, Reddit doesn't seem too keen on a AEW decision recently if we are relying on comments and upvotes. Why? Here's why. So I am going to read it to you verbatim because that only seems fair. And it comes from the user Go Down As Lovers, which is quite the name, with the title Putting Sammy Guevara and Ty Conte Together on TV is one of the worst decision AEW has made this year. And they went on to say, Bro, I'm trying to watch a wrestling show. I don't want to listen to two people in their late flubbing 20s act like high schoolers on national television and make jokes about coming on a title. Hello, mum and dad. I thought we moved past that need for shib likeness when the ruthless aggression era died. Having a real couple together on TV works in some cases, but these two together makes me want to mute my TV until their segment is over. Like, I love AEW and watch Dynamite Weekly, but holy shit, this Sammy Ty versus ATT feud is completely insufferable and damn near unwatchably bad. Come on, dude. Why are you sitting on the fence? Now, that is the most Reddit post I've ever read in my life, but it got over 6,000 upvotes and over 500 comments, so clearly it did spark the conversation. And I've already made my thoughts known on ups and downs. I've already said it once. We've got to say it again. If you do start talking about semen, sperm, or <laughs> cum, I'm out. It's just my rules. I don't need it in any walk of life. That doesn't mean that AEW shouldn't do this though, because who the hell am I? Just one fam amongst millions, and you've got to try this stuff, you've got to throw stuff at the wall in order to see if it sticks. And also, given that it probably is going to end in Sammy Guevara and Ty Conte taking on Scorpio Sky and Paige Van Zandt, well, I think that's a little bit interesting. I think that's a little bit different. I'd probably enjoy it. Let us dive into some of the most upvoted comments though because that's just what we do. Crowbar Faith said, I'm waiting for Dan Lambert to drop a line like, are you going to come out here and propose to this one too? And that feels like a little over the line to me, but I had to include it because it was right at the top. One anti-hero threw in, I hope Miro comes in and destroys Sammy, which is such a good idea. If I ever do meet you, I'm going to give you a hug. Whereas Julia Pink thinks that unless they are both turning heels, that being said, it's less Edge and Lita and more Carmella and Corey Graves. And this really made me laugh because I watched a few episodes of that Carmella Corey Graves YouTube show. And honestly, they just talk about sex. It's like, hey, honey, how you doing? Want a bang? And it just goes on and on and on. When you do start going through a lot of them, though, the real issue seems to be a lot of people would like to see Sammy Guevara go heel, whereas they would like Ty Conte to remain a baby face. So you see the problem here. We are trying to head in wildly different directions. I also do think we need to be slightly reserved here because we have only have a couple of segments so far. And also in the past, Tony Khan has been really good at listening to the fans and going, oh man, maybe they're right. We need to pivot and he does pivot. So we do need to wait and see. Also, let's not forget that this spot was probably meant to be there for Brandy Rhodes and Cody Rhodes before they left the company. So we went out there, we got Ty and Sammy and we kind of shoved them in there instead. And Conte even alluded to this on Twitter. She basically he said to Cody and Brandy, why did you have to go? Now I've got to do it. I do think that there is something in turning Sammy into a bad guy though. Now I disagree that he can't be a baby face because have you seen his work in the ring? He is so flashy and he pulls off such crazy maneuvers that you want to cheer for him, you want to root for him. And when he does hit it, you want to go, yeah, and make a big reaction. But in 2022, you can basically be a madman wrestler and get away with it. You just have to wait until you have a microphone in your hand and get your character across. And then even then, when you are in the squared circle, it will all tie in. Given that it's been ages since Guevara has done this too, maybe it would be best overall. But of course, this is where the problem comes in, because I totally agree with you. Ty Conte should be a baby face. I mean, even if it's just for the facial reactions she throws out there, she gets it right every single time, as is intended. But also her tag team with Anna Jay, that was so nice and that was so good. And that was just so, I don't know, lovely. But if AEW ever did introduce women's tag team belts, you would want them to win it because when they do, you would feel all warm and fuzzy in the tum tum. They've just got a good thing going on. And obviously we've thrown Conte and Guevara together because they are dating in real life. When you actually look through wrestling, 
has this actually ever been a good idea? The Mantra Man and Miss Elizabeth are probably some of the most famous, and while on screen it was fine, good grief. Go read about what was happening away from the cameras. And remember when we tried to do this recently with Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch? That didn't work at all. And we've already mentioned Edge and Lita during this video, but remember how all that started? I don't think this was good for anyone. So really, it would actually be somebody like Cody and Brandy Rhodes or even The Miz and Maurice is a good example of how to do this. So sure, you probably could pull it off with Ty and Sammy, but we've already talked about it. If deep down in here, you're like, man, I want that Sammy Guevara to be a bad guy, but also in this space, like, man, I want Ty Conte to be a good guy, well, then we have a problem. It's become like Star Wars. You need the light side and you need the dark. Ultimately, though, I just think it needs more story. Like, the reason they've fallen out at the moment is because of the TNT title, which does make sense. But how do you go from championships to saying, oh yeah, we had sex on that gold, and guess what came out of my penis? So if you really do want people to buy in, you've got to come up with something special, and you need to ensure that everybody hates American Top Team, and they really like their people they're going against. And yeah, when we did take our bat and we took a swing at this one, at the moment we did indeed miss. I mean, it was just so strange. And even some of my casual friends that watch AEW, they text me and they're like, did I just hear those things? And I went, no, you made it up in your head because I wanted to try and protect them. But it is true though, because the main defining feature and the thing that we're all talking about is sperm. <laughs> they laughed again. It's sperm. <laughs> How do we get here? So it is, and you have to excuse my friend, something we need to see play out. But honestly, as soon as this had gone down, it stoked the fires of the internet. And usually that means for a good old while, it ain't gonna die down. So brace yourselves because we know how this can go. And on that note, don't take it over the line. Don't go send them mean messages. Remember they're human beings with mental health and they'll be happy and they'll be sad. They don't need you attacking them personally. That makes you the asshole. And you're allowed to criticize the wrestling side as much as you want, but there is balance here, my friends don't do it. Now please do leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this, especially if you like it. That is awesome because you watch wrestling to be entertained and if you are being entertained then you win and I'd like to hear your reasonings. Like the video, share the video and subscribe. Head over to whatculture.com where you can keep up to date with AEW and all the wrestling news. Make sure you come follow us on social media and be nice. That's right, I keep pointing at you. I shouldn't do that. And also, we have a ton of videos. Why don't you watch one? My name is Simon Watt Culture. Thank you as always for joining me for a very polite and a very nice discussion. There are no wrong or right answers. It's just good to take an idea and let it manifest itself in your brain. You have a lovely day. See you soon. Which is one, still one of the best beer names we've ever done. <laughs> um, and we've got, for anybody who's...